Hello and welcome to newsclick.in. We are standing at Jantar Mantar. You can see behind me the farmers from Kerala and Himachal Pradesh have gathered here to protest against the human animal conflict going on in these states. The farmers have said in this year 66 farmers have been killed due to the wildlife attacks and in the last one decade around a thousand farmers have died because of this we spoke to the farmers and the farm leaders who are protesting with their demands listen to what they have to say in this video of newsfeed.in today on uh, behalf of the kerala unit of the aiks all india kisan sabha Hundreds of farmers have come here to Delhi uh, in a march to parliament. They are all waiting here at the Jantar Mantar. And the main issue that they have highlighted is this question of the wild animal menace. In such a situation where also crores of rupees of crops have been lost because of these wild animal attacks. So today they came to parliament to Delhi 3,000 kilometers away to raise these issues. In all over India, this is a problem. Either elephant or wild boar or monkey or elephant or this nilgai, different animal in different states. They are entering into the field and destroying the crops. That is the problem. We are fighting all India Kishan Sabha from the beginning, last few years, we are raising the demand. After a lot of demands and fighting in Himachal Pradesh, they have given the right to kill some monkey. Come. But other places, this is a big problem. Kerala, you know, elephant. Elephants are coming in big number and entering in the locality, destroying the houses, and they all case, killing people and uh, injuring people. And lot of crops are being destroyed. Crops and the field are destroyed. This is a very permanent problem in Kerala. Kerala thinna, Purolan Darshagar, thinna Parliamenti Marsiri mande ko gana. Kerala thile jenangala vanya jeevi chaliy thinni ne reshikvan mendi. Nammal yeh samaram chayyan mandu. Iniye nammal yeh samaram. हिमाचल प्रदेश के अंदर भी दो हजार आठ नौ में लोगो ने क्या नाम बंदरों से जो है तंग आकर वहाँ पर जो है क्या बोलते हैं आंदोलन लड़ा और उसकी जीत ये थी कि भी उसकी एक साइंटिफिक किलिंग के लिए परमिशन मिली थी और दो तीन साल तक ये परमिशन रही उसके बाद में एक एनजीओ जो है वो क्या नाम हाई कोर्ट के अंदर में गए और उसके साथ में सरकार भी ने एक दूसरा रास्ता लिया कि भी यहाँ पे जो है ये बनाया जाएगा पार्क जिसमें कि बंदरों को पकड़ के लाया जाएगा उनको खाने के लिए लाया जाएगा जो कि इस तरह से प्रयास किया गया परंतु वो विफल रहा और एक तरफ जो है ना किसान को जो है ना इसमें जंगली सुअर है और नील गाय हैं और आवारा पशु भी जो है ना इसकी समस्याओं से जूझना पड़ रहा है दूसरी तरफ जो है बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट और प्रोजेक्ट्स की लाइन के लिए कई मतलब स्टोर्स के लिए जो है ना जंगलों को काटा जा रहा है और जो आपका ट्राइबल एरिया है वहाँ पर जो है ना काफ़ी ज़्यादा डिफॉरेस्टेशन की गई है एक ही कंपनी जेपी कंपनी के जो टावर्स गए हैं उसके लिए दस ही हज़ार जो है ना पेड़ों को काटा गया है जिससे कि भी जो हैबिलिटेशन है वो ख़राब हुई है और जहाँ तक किसान के सुरक्षा देने की बात है किसान के मुद्दे को करने वाली बात है उसमें जो है ना सरकार जो है ना नाकाम रही है और जो प्रदेश सरकार ये कहती है कि ये एक्ट जो है ना वो सेंट्रल एक्ट है इसके अंदर हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते हैं सिर्फ उन्होंने पार्क बना के एक जो है ना लोगों के साथ में वहाँ पर हिमाचल प्रदेश के अंदर भी छलावा किया है जो ये आंदोलन यहाँ पे है इसके इसमें हिमाचल प्रदेश के किसानों की भी मांग जो है ना जो है पुरजोर तरीके से हम इस समस्या का जो है ना सामना करते हैं समर्थन करते हैं टुडे मॉर्निंग बिफोर दिस धरना स्टार्टेड वी मेट द यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर एनवायरमेंट एंड फॉरेस्ट मिस्टर भूपेंद्र यादव वी 
submitted a memorandum to him regarding our main demands. Some of the demands he has conceded and he has said that he will begin immediate implementation about them. Now, first up, before coming to those demands, I would like to stress that this wild animal menace is not a problem of Kerala alone. It is a problem of all over India. So today, the issues that we raised with the minister and which we are raising today here in this dharna are important pro-farmer amendments to the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, to the Forest Conservation Act, to the Scheduled Tribes Protection Act, uh, to the Indian Forest Act. Secondly, in Kerala, in the specific situation there, we have said that trenches should be drugged at the same time where that is not possible. Barbed wire fences of at least four meters have to be constructed where that is not possible. Concrete walls have to be built to keep out wild animals from entering the revenue areas, that is the villages. Now, this work can be very gainfully done through the Manarega, which is a very important scheme. And if this can be done, then a large part of the population, 30 lakh people in Kerala alone are affected. So they can be saved from the wild animal danger. Third thing is, in forestation, commercial forestation is being done instead of the normal forestation and that prevents fodder and water to the wild animals. So therefore we have said this commercial forestation must be stopped and natural forests must be encouraged. Another thing that we have demanded, they should increase the compensation paid to the dependents of those who are killed by wild animals from the present 5 lakh to 50 lakh rupees and to those injured to 10 lakh rupees. On 31st, the Samyuk Kisan Morcha has given a call to ensure that the demand of the farmers for the minimum support price as per the Swaminathan Commission recommendations are implemented and for other demands. Today, when the central government, Narendra Modi and his government are from 2014 speaking about doubling farmers' incomes, actually farmers' incomes are um, uh, getting drastically reduced. In a day, on an average, farmers are earning from cultivation of crops only 27 rupees. The wild animal menace and the menace of the stray cattle is leading to further losses of income. So this is a demand on which farmers across the country are concerned and we are going to in coming days go ahead for a national convention and unite farmers across the country to address this problem faced by the farmers. This is very much a part of the livelihood issue of farmers of our country and we are going to take it to its logical conclusion.